Hi everyone, today we're diving into the management of myocardial infarction. The goal is to restore blood flow to the heart as quickly as possible. We aim to adhere to balloon time of 90 minutes for patients who need percutaneous coronary intervention or BCI. Regarding the primary survey, ABC stands for airway, breathing, and circulation. It is important to assess and stabilize the patient's basic life functions before proceeding with any further treatments. Regarding the uh, pharmacological treatments, we can uh, use the, um, the protocol MONACH. M stands for morphine. Morphine is used to relieve chest pain that isn't relieved by nitroglycerin, and this helps reduce pain and anxiety, which can also lower the heart's oxygen demand. O stands for oxygen. Oxygen is given to patients with an oxygen saturation below 90%. Administer two to four liters per minute through a nasal cannula to ensure the heart to get enough oxygen during the acute phase. N stands for nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin is given sublingually to reduce chest pain by dilating the coronary arteries and improving blood flow to the heart. It can be administered every five minutes and up to three doses, but be careful if the patient has low blood pressure. A stands for aspirin. Aspirin, we should administer 160 to 325 milligram of aspirin. Should, and it helps by inhibiting platelet aggregation and reduce the chance of further clot formation. C stands for clopidogrel. It is a P2Y12 inhibitor. Uh, we, we add clopidogrel to aspirin to further prevent platelets, platelets from forming clots. A loading dose is given during the acute phase to ensure rapid action. And H stands for heparin. This is an anticoagulant that prevents new clots from forming and stops existing clots from growing larger. A bolus dose is typically administered followed by an infusion to keep the blood from clotting. But there is an important warning. If your patient has right-sided myocardial infarction, avoid nitrates. Why? Because right heart is dependent on preload. If you give nitrate, this will reduce preload, which will worsen the condition. Regarding clinical features of right ventricle myocardial infarction, we have hypertension, clear lungs, elevated jugular vein pressure, and hepatomegaly. ECG signs of right ventricle myocardial infarction, we have ST elevation in D2, D3, and AVF. So if you see ST elevation in these derivative, it represents right ventricle myocardial infarction due to right coronary artery obstruction. Learn to recognize and treat myocardial infarction and avoid nitrates in the right heart myocardial infarction. Stay sharp out there.